Hi, I'm Anna Milan from the Community Services Department. Today we're discussing Chatham's North Beach and North Beach Island with Police Chief Mike Anderson. Chatham's North Beach is a current formation of the Barrier Beach that has protected Chatham Harbor and the mainland from the open ocean for many years. Over the years, weather events and erosion have created many changes in the area. The current North Beach is attached to Nosset Beach to the north and is accessible by over sand vehicles or by boat. To the south of North Beach is North Beach Island. It is flanked by the north and south inlets and is accessible only by boat. These two areas are part of the Cape Cod National Seashore and are extremely fragile and dynamic natural areas. They are a valuable resource to the boating public, property owners, and wildlife. In addition to providing storm protection to Chatham, they are also very popular recreation areas. Chatham's North Beach and North Beach Island are protected by federal, state, and town regulations. Oversight of these areas is provided by the town of Chatham. Hi, Chief Anderson, how are you? Doing great, how are you? Thanks I'm, for having me. I'm well, thanks for being here. It's, I can't believe we're almost at the end of the, the summer. Soon it'll be New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, you're jumping way too hot. I like local summer. September is my favorite time. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best on, on Cape. How has the summer been for you guys? We've been extremely busy. Uh, it has been one of our busiest summers on record. Uh, our calls for service are higher than last year. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're, we're managing. Good. I have to say it was a pleasure. I got to sit down with your community service officers, two of them, Connor and Christiana. They were great. You must be very excited to have them as part of your team. Sure, we're very proud of the program. Uh, they help us out tremendously. They're great ambassadors, yeah. uh, not just for the police department, but for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very well liked uh, by the merchants down there, and they do a great job. Yeah, it's something to be proud of for sure. We are. I love the Chathams on the forefront of that. Um, as we're past the 4th of July, and entering Labor Day weekend, those are kind of two of our busiest uh, weekends on the Cape, I feel like. How is your department preparing for the increased activity and then potential challenges that are associated with a holiday weekend? Sure, it, one of the biggest challenges that we have obviously is our staffing levels. Uh, we're doing the best we can to maintain them. Mm -hmm. But this season we were hit with a staffing crisis and we're low. So we're, we're really up against staffing when it comes to adding extra patrols to certain areas or directed patrols in response to certain incidents. Uh, but we're, again, we, we're doing the best that we can. For sure. Ch uh, it, Chatham poses an interesting challenge that a lot of other communities don't, and that would be their 66 miles of coast and you know the beaches that are involved with that. What, uh, policing those areas, what does that look like for you guys, and, and how can the community support maintaining safe spaces? Great question. Well, first of all, we cannot patrol those areas mm -hmm. without strong partnerships from other agencies in town. Mm -hmm. The uh, Harbor Master is one, the Fire Department, and, and Park and Rec, because, uh, for example, North Beach yeah. is, uh, is an island, <laughs> uh, so we would need assistance getting there and back. Uh, any type of really coastline that is not immediately next to a beach or a parking lot is a challenge for us to patrol and respond to, so we rely on our other community partners in town. Sure. And how uh, have you guys been partnering together as we prepare for these busy weekends all through the year, not just Labor Day and Fourth of July, but like you said, New Year's, New Year's presents an interesting challenge. So how does these, how do these partnerships continue through the year for you guys? Sure. <clears throat> if we anticipate uh, a busy weekend or an event weekend or a large event, uh, we do strategic planning months in advance, if not weeks in advance. Uh, so we have uh, plans in place in case we have to respond to an emergency or to proactively deter something from happening or just to be an added presence in whatever area we need it to be. For sure. And that must be challenging. How do you balance maintaining safety and, and order while allowing the community to enjoy the holiday? What does that look like? Well, we understand that um, the community has a right to celebrate. They have a right to be on vacation. Uh, we, we want them to do that uh, responsibly yeah. uh, and safely. <clears throat> you know, I, I'm sure there's a lot of uh, activity that happens on beaches that are not immediately patrolled. And, and we just ask that the, the visitors and the guests, uh, you know, behave responsibly and basically police each other. Uh, because unfortunately, usually it's the actions of just a few people 
that ruin it for the rest of the public. Absolutely, and that's definitely something that can be seen in surrounding towns such as Dennis. Sure. They definitely uh, ramped up their security protocols and their, and their regulations around the 4th of July weekend. How has Chatham been able to maintain not having to set those uh, boundaries in place, such as closing the beaches early and things like that, and, and you know, make sure that they're still open for the well, community? Well, not, not that we haven't had to have plans in place. We, we did. We, mm -hmm. we expected uh, disbursement and displacement from uh, Dennis beaches into Howitch and into Chatham. And we had seen an increase mm -hmm. uh, when, when Dennis had their beaches closed. Mm -hmm. We saw an uptick in beach activity, illegal beach activity, mm -hmm. and we responded accordingly. Uh, knowing that we now have one busy weekend left, Labor Day is historically a very busy weekend, and there are certain parties in certain locations. Uh, we have proactively reached out to some of the organizations or organizers to some of these parties to remind them yeah. that you know, there are policies and procedures in place, rules and regulations, and even permits that are needed to apply because sometimes these uh, gatherings are, are not permitted. Uh, and then the people who do get the permits, uh, they, they get a little upset that they do the right thing and have to follow the rules while some people don't. So we do have plans in place. And again, for the upcoming Labor Day, we, we have been planning for any type of beach parties, uh, beach disruptions or any type of uh, beach violations. Sure. What are some things that people should keep in mind that are rules and regulations that are in place that should be followed that maybe because they're on vacation or because it's a holiday weekend and people are excited uh, slip our mind? Well, unlike many other tourist destinations, uh, Massachusetts is very strict on alcohol. Yes. Uh, there's no open container allowed in, in, in Chatham. There's no alcohol consumption allowed in public. And that, in fact, includes the beaches. Mm -hmm. uh, does it go on? Sure. Do people do that responsibly? Sure. It's when they don't, that's when we get called and that's when we have to act. Absolutely. Um, so what methods are you guys using to communicate important information amongst the, um, the collaborating organizations, but as well as the public? Great question. We have uh, several social media outlets. We have the Town of Chatham social media, uh, Facebook. We have the Police Department Facebook. We're on Instagram. Yep. Um, we do uh, public advisories such as this. Mm -hmm. uh, we reach out to people and stakeholders that we think might either be affected negatively by it, uh, to act as our eyes and ears in areas that we might not be at if they see something to report it. Uh, we reach out to the people that we think may be responsible for the hosting of the next upcoming one and gently remind them that there are rules and policies and permits that are required and hopefully we can stay out ahead of that. You've mentioned permits, so can we talk a little bit about that process, what the permitting, uh, what it looks like to get one, why you would need a permit and how you'd go about doing that? Sure. <clears throat> the majority of the beach permits come from the Park and Rec Division, Beaches uh, Division. North Beach Island is a different animal. Um, there's old regulations that still, uh, if you want a beach permit, a gathering permit, any type of activity on North Beach Island, that permit comes from my office and has to be approved by me. Okay. So in the past, how, what types of things have you allowed on North Beach? Well, if it's a gathering over 20, it's typically not allowed. Fair. But the, the, what we've seen, unfortunately, and we're trying to get the message out, is that when we have these gatherings, um, the, the, the hosts or the organizations behind them are not aware that they require these permits or weren't aware of the rules and regulations. And again, we have to just gently remind them. And can we access that information on your website, the Town of Chatham? It's website? on the Town of Chatham website under uh, the Beaches Division, and I believe there is a separate link to North Beach Island itself, to be specific. Great. And so uh, over the holiday weekend, as you said, you're collaborating with other agencies. How can we, or, or when can community members know who to contact, depending on a type of situation that they're either experiencing or seeing go on? I know that you have 911, of course, but the non-emergency line, what are the different ways that people can reach out? <clears throat> I would recommend that in any situation you call 911. If you have to make a decision on whether it's an emergency or not, Assume it's an emergency. Um, you might not get uh, the, the right amount of service if you have to you know, pick up a, what you think would be a non-emergency number. I would ask the public if they have any concerns about anything that's uh, any type of activity, call 911 for a couple of reasons. Number one, 
you're always going to get an answer. Uh, your location of your cell phone call is going to be plotted uh, with uh, latitude and longitude. So even if the phone call is disconnected, we know where the call originated from. For sure. So what would you want community members or visitors to know uh, just or to keep in mind during Labor Day weekends? Maybe the top three uh, best practices, safety protocols. What are the three things that if you could instill in anyone, sure. you would instill? Well, first, enjoy our beaches responsibly. Yes. They're great. It's a great place to be. It's a great place to live, work, and visit. Enjoy them responsibly. Uh, please take into consideration that there are residents or other property owners that may abut the location that you are uh, enjoying. So please respect the privacy and the property rights of the uh, abutters. And then of course, we're the agency that sometimes has to say no. Mm -hmm. uh, we will remind you that violations, they could be a fine of somewhere between 50 to $300. And if the offense is egregious enough, it would end up in an arrest. Thank you. I appreciate the information and your time. Okay, my pleasure. <laughs>